Hello everyone, welcome to Balatro. This video, this video game just came out, I've been really excited to play it. So let's go ahead and click start, I don't really know what to expect. Uh, yeah, it looks like there is all, so many decks to unlock, so let's just start a basic run and see how it goes. Going up against a small blind, juggle tag plus two hand size next round. Definitely not worth it. So, in this game, we're going to try to beat the blinds by generating this many points. And to get points, we play Poker Hands. So, in case you don't really know Poker Hands, they come in a series of qualities. High card, pairs, two pair, three of a kind, straights, flush, full house, four of a kind, straight flush. So, as you can see, they have a chip value, which is on blue, and a multiplier value, which is the red. So, if I scored a straight flush, I would get 100 times 8, and I'd also sum up the points of the chip. But, to show you it, I'm just going to play here. So, here I see a bunch of diamonds, so let's go ahead and discard. And, alright, well, if we find a 7 or a queen, we could really kill the blind here. But, we didn't. But So, we're just going to play a flush. Let's see, it's going to be 35 times 4, but we're also going to add these in. I'm um, getting that to 312. Alright. Let's cash out. And... I think my game speed a bit slower. <laughs> I realized I had to set to 4 because I suppose I am a fast person. So, this is, this is a joker. These will be used to make our runs better and make our hands stronger. This costs $7. And we get, so that flushes and straights can be made with 4 cards. So, that seems really powerful, because then I can more consistently get my straights going. Queen, King, Ace, and uh, a 9 that's already a flush. But we should go ahead and look for maybe a Joker, or a Jack, or like a 10. That way we can get a straight flush, because that would definitely get this going. And there we go, we got a Royal Flush. So, yeah, let's play it. Uh, I miss the nomer of a royal flush, but I believe that doesn't actually matter, but that still counts as a straight flush. We can try that next time that it comes up. As you see, that got us 1,200 points just right off the bat. Okay. And that is a holographic joker, so that is... Plus three molt for every Joker card. This can also give us an extra card slot available in the shop, but this seems really powerful. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. It's just going to give us a ton of extra multiplier. I would love to get this Joker as well, because it would make it very likely that we get um, straight flushes. Okay. So here we're going to look for a 7 of diamonds, or I suppose a 9 of diamonds will work now as well. Let's keep looking for that. Well, 8, 9, 10, jack, that's a straight. I can do this for a flush. I suppose the flush is a little bit better. I'd really want to try and discard looking for the... Uh, Looking for, like, the queen or the seven again. Let's try this one more time. I mean, if we don't get it, we're... Yeah, we did get it. Ten queen... J ten jack queen. Oh, we need a little bit more, huh? Well, we definitely can't, like, hold on to our cards anymore. Oh! What I should have done there is use another nine. Because we can make a straight flush if we had, like, an eight, nine, ten jack queen. And this is a six of diamonds. That would have also worked. Uh... Okay, we, we do crush that and buy a lot, and I knew that we were going to, so I wasn't too stressed about using my discards, but, yeah. So yeah, getting a straight flush is very plausible here. Gain one for each nine in your full deck at the end of the round. And face cards, get plus 30 chips when scored. Yeah, that seems really nice. So let's go ahead and take this. So... 
Yeah, we'll just be able to get more money off of that. We could take a, t a Karna pack as well. But I'm just going to go to the next round because I know that every $5 we have, we get $1 of interest. So get a free Mega Standard Pack. That could give us more 9s, which I do like. So let's try it. Alright. Uh, there's a 9. And there's a Stone card, but I don't really want that. I do want the 6 of Hearts. Because this can be used as any suit, and that's going to be really good for our Four Fingers. Let's take the 9, and let's take the Wild 6. Uh, do we take a Mega Celestial pack? I think it's kind of risky, because we're looking for straight flushes. So, there is a chance we get like a straight flush synergy with this, but let's just take it so we get a bit more money. Alright. So, Ace, King, Queen, but these are three different suits. So, we can just discard that looking for... We can just play out a flush here. We kind of want to keep our cards in deck as much as possible. Well, full deck, full deck might include this, so let's see if this goes down. Right now it says five, and does it go down to four? Because I played before. I should have. Uh... Oh, it says full. Oh, full deck just includes all of the cards, like no matter what, huh? That's insane. That's a lot of money. Alright. Uh, yeah, don't really want to have something that cares if I have a few cards in my hand because I want to play straight flushes. So let's take a buffoon pack. This will give us two jokers. Okay. Earn $3 for each discarded jack changes every round. And it's polychrome, so it'll, it'll increase our multiplier by 50%. Um, like, as like another dimension. Let's see, club and spade synergies. Those are okay, but I think I'm going to take the mail-in rebate for the polychrome and some more cash. And I'll take this as well, because we can make straights with aces pretty easily thanks to our four fingers. Okay. Uh, do we take the voucher here? Let's see. Next up is the water, which is going to refresh our blinds. We can just take this now. We're going to make a lot of money anyways, uh, due to both our mail-in rebate and our Cloud9, so really, it's like, nothing to worry about. We do start with zero discards, though, so that'll be kind of scary. Alright. So, this is a almost a straight, but it's not going to be able to become a flush. So, I'm going to play this, and I'm going to look for, like, a diamond straight flush. This is might just be enough to win as well, so we can just kind of look at that. This is kind of a, yeah, a mediocre flush setup, and yeah, that still crushes it. Okay, so, I know we're doing really well now, but the numbers in this game can get extremely out of hand. So, as well as we're doing now, I'm still pretty worried that we're not going to be able to keep up later in the game. Sell this card to disable the current boss blind. That seems really good in the long term. This also seems good. It's just so that we, uh... We're able to save ourselves in a pickle. Because we could probably use this to make a straight flush whenever we want to. Um, but I don't think that's really necessary. I'd rather be trying to get as strong as I can right now. Right now, let's take the Celestial Pack. Uh, with the Celestial Pack, we can try to get something with a straight flush. We didn't get anything with the straight flush. Uh, yeesh. I guess a two pair is the most likely thing for us to activate, because we're trying to get a very diverse set of cards with this deck, or with the setup. So, let's go to the next round. Uh, this is also interesting, but I feel like it's way too early to take something like that. A Celestial Pack, upgrade the Academy 3 levels. We're just going to run both of these. We're getting so much money every round with a Cloud 9. Oh, we should also be worried about the Superposition as well. So, we have an Ace Queen already. Uh, let's go ahead and just like hard dig for our Superposition here. 
Oh, I have to discard fives. Okay, okay. L let's actually pay attention to the mail and rebate and the superposition now. That's my bad. So... We need, like, every single royal for the straight flush. Or, like, a two and a three. So, there we go. We did get jack, queen, king, ace. And we can also just tip out in the extra queen for a royal flush. And... Yeah, th this checks out. Don't worry about it. Because <laughs> we got four spades and we got um, four cards in a row. Uh, it would also work if we were actually... Uh, like, if this queen was just anything else. Which is funny. So, yep. Crushed it. Ooh. I got an achievement for a royal flush. That's nice. I'll be saving this Wheel of Fortune because right now these cards are... I mean, they're fine. But it's definitely something I'm planning to, like, swap out later. This gives me just $4 every round, so it's a little bit worse than the Cloud 9. Let's take the standard pack and hope to get another 9 for our Cloud 9. There's another 9. And it gives us money when it's scored. That seems really good. I mean, I would like to take the 2 of clubs as well. But we'll take the 9. Because, yeah, that's an extra dollar every single round. That's pretty exciting. Uh, we can take the extra hand every round, too. It also kind of serves as a way as a sort of income. Now, because we get $1 of interest every $5 we have, technically it lowers our interest. But we also have a max of $5 of interest per round. So, I could take the buff Jumbo Buffoon Pack, but I'm actually pretty happy with my setup at the moment. So, let's just run it. Okay, we need to discard aces, which unfortunately kind of like uh, it kind of overlaps this, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to discard these, looking for more aces to discard. And yeah, there we go. We could keep the jack because then we know we have a straight, and we just need a single more heart in order to guarantee that we get a straight flush. But honestly, still a straight is fine. Alright, we could keep that 9 as well. Because this will just give us more money. And yeah, we didn't find any aces. So here we just play a straight. We can check if a straight just like is, a is enough to win us a hand here. Or win us the game here. And is it not quite, but that's good because we wanted to, uh, we want to see another ace for the mail in rebate anyways. So let's just play like some crummy hands. So we're looking for a flush with spades, which we know is going to be enough to beat, beat us here. We're getting a lot of money off of like crummy hands here. Okay, well, we just play a straight flush. Now, playing a straight flush means that we will get more of these um, in our stats, which is good because some things will be able to synergize or like give us more upgrades based off of the, the hand that we have played the most. So, if you look right now, we have played straight flushes three times and flushes four times. So, if we can manage to play more straight flushes and flushes, we might be able to get more buffs on the straight flush. And speaking of, we might want to fall back on straights so we can keep straight flushes at the highest. We're getting $16 this round. Holy moly. Alright. The Joker gains 0.5 molt for each card sold. Resets when the boss blind is defeated. That seems real strong. Um, right now, let's take another standard pack. We're going to look for more nines. Hey, more nines. Uh, yeah, I mean, there is kind of the issue if we just keep taking nines that does fudge our deck a little bit because we're looking for a diversity of cards and nines aren't a diversity. We we'll also discard kings at the moment. So between these two cards, what do I prefer? I think I prefer this one because with all the nines we have, it's less likely that we'll want to play all of our nines, right? It's like the Celestial Pack. 
All right, Neptune upgrades are straight flushes. That's exactly what we want. And okay, let's go to the next round. Diamond cards are debuffed. That's fine. Ooh, now that hurts. So six, seven, eight, nine. That does qualify as a straight, even though this card is debuffed. But uh, let's go ahead and discard these. Okay, I think I probably should get my seven. Ah. Okay. So here, I have a one, two, three. So we could try to go for a straight here. We also discard a king, which buffs. Oh. Did that not give us money for the polychrome? I don't think it did. Huh. <sighs> anyway. One, two, three, four. And now we just need one more spade and we get a straight flush. So let's keep our one, two, three, four. Right, we're looking for a single spade. So we'll discard that. Oh, we need a three. Yeah. Keep that three. And there we go. So that is a straight flush. <laughs> nice. Oh, I also should have just discarded the king for three more dollars. That's my bad. Ooh, Temperance will just give us $15, which is real nice. And there we go. On to Anti-4. This has been scaling a lot slower than I expected. But then again, maybe I'm just way too powerful. Um, we are going to need to find a way to really bump up our... Uh, our chips. Okay, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Celestial packs always contain the planet for our most played poker hand. And now, our most played poker hand should be flushes and straight flushes. I believe that they're tied. Uh, yeah, four to four. So, both are good. But I would like to just kind of go all in on straight flushes. Let's just use the temper so we're just going to get a bucket of money. Let's take the celestial pack. Because now we can just keep on buffing our straight flushes all the way. And I think because we have both of them, the um, voucher is going to give us both options. But we don't really need both options. So, okay. Uh, neither of these are really what I want. We can also open up the Arcana pack. Who knows what it'll get. Hopefully something good. Hey, money's on sale. <laughs> sure. Uh, we rolled two times here. And we can convert our cards to hearts, which makes it more likely for us to get flushes, which is nice. And we can go to the next round. Okay, the toot is going to make us lose $1 per card play. Don't really care too much about that because we have so much money. We're doing okay. Alright. So here... Uh, if we get a 4, that can activate our diamond, so let's look for that. We also need to discard aces for our mail-in rebate. We also would like to play straight straights with aces for our superposition. But honestly, I can see ourselves selling superposition pretty soon because it's kind of bad. Okay, let's discard these. Oh, I should have kept that 4. Ah. Oh well. So here, if we get an ace, we get a two, one, two, three. We need the four still. So we can keep this six instead. We have a lot of discards, so we can afford to make some mistakes like that. So we have a one, two, three, four. Uh, and we can put this five in. That gives us a straight. So here... We could convert these to hearts. And then that will allow us to get the straight flush. And it'll also give us a justice so we can get a glass card, which seems really nice. 
10k chips in a single hand. Nice. Alright. We're getting... Yeah, tons of cash here. Probably want to reroll more than twice around now. First play, face card gives time to molt. Probably not. Uh, create two random tarot cards. I suppose. We can take the spectral pack because these have some... These have some really exciting things in them. Okay. Ouija. Convert all cards in hand to a single random rank. Definitely don't want that. And add a gold seal to a card. We will add a gold seal, I think, to this four. Because it does feel more like we're going to play it. Because we do want, like, one, two, three, fours with the superposition. So. All right. We can also play the tarot or get more tarot cards to use immediately. Sure, we'll just take it. And now I kind of wish I way in the past there took that 10 gold for having the shop have an extra slot. But, oh well. I think I'll sell off my superposition here. And take a random joker. We get even Steven. Uh, we can also take the Wheel of Fortune. Nope, fair enough. And let's enhance this 9 to a glass card. I think I actually want to start reducing the amount of 9s in my deck, because I want to have a wide variety of cards. We're going to take two random planet cards. And unfortunately, we did not find... We found a f straight and a flush, but not the straight flush. What a shame. We're going to take a reroll here. Let me, um, don't we need either of those? And let's see how many uncommons we have. We have two uncommons, but they're like we want to keep the four fingers. Let's sell off the even Steven and take this uh, basket, a uh, baseball card. Oh, I was gonna call it basketball. I don't know my sports. Let's also just use both of these cards while we have them. Uh. They're decent, like, fallbacks. Even if we're mostly looking for the straight flush. Like, just getting those available is good, I think. Free bank at Santa Pack. No, thank you. I do want just another full shop. Okay. We get a 2, 3, 4. Ace. And now we put another diamond in. That's already a straight flush. Holy. Alright. But we want to discard 2s with the mail and rebate for $3. Huh. I mean, I I do like having that right away. But we have five discards. We can look through like 25 cards. We can definitely just find more stuff, right? We'll just discard that. And we'll find another two. In fact, we could probably like pivot to a 7, 8, 9 kind of idea. Right, and we don't need to go for the ace straights anymore. Uh, yeah, we're looking for a 6 or a 10. Hey, more 9s. Um, suppose I should have seen that one coming. But we're still looking for that 6. Okay, we got six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, straight flush, sure. Uh, let's just play it. I mean, I could try to find a way to get this extra three dollars. I probably should have, but oh well. Look, we, we're getting we're getting fat stacks over here. We're fine. Okay. Yeah, we have so much cash. It's kind of ridiculous. Alright. Twenty more dollars there. Uh looks like the mega standard pack. We're kinda of looking for things that aren't nines. We're looking for like eights and tens, actually. So sure. I'll take this. I'm gonna skip here. Because I do want to have, like, a thinner deck relatively. 
Let's reroll once. Uh, nothing here really. Let's reroll again. What is this? When any booster pack is skipped, gives a molt. And that seems really good for us. Plus two hand size because we are looking for like really particular hands with the four fingers. So, hmm. We can probably just sell that off and grab this. Now we are kind of lacking in a way to generate molt, but we will find another one, I'm sure of it. Um, and of course, we can generate a lot of molt with our planet cards anyway. Okay. We can take temperance just for, you know, money, it's on sale. Roll one more time. What a blind is selected? Gain 0.5 molt and destroy a random joker? Oh, jeez. That scares me. Uh, plus two chips for each remaining card in deck. And gain one dollar at the end of the round. Two more dollars when the boss blind is defeated. Okay, let's just go to the next round. Yep, the tooth. So, we could probably... Yeah, we could probably get the uh, straight flush right away here. If we discard nines, we get money here. So, I think that'd actually be really valuable. So let's look for a 5. Yeah. So yeah, there we go. Tons of money from there. Um, how many 9s we have left? We have 5 9s left. Jeez. Okay. So... <laughs> I gotta pay attention here. So we have three diamonds here. Um, we could also pre... If we get a five of hearts, we do get that as well. Uh, let's see, we don't need this for a heart situation. We, we do want to keep this eight of hearts, obviously. If we get a five... I don't think we'll need the three. Okay. So we have four, five, six. We could do that for a straight flush. So. We need four, five, six, seven. And then we just need any spade. So we don't need this, really. Alright. Four, five, six. Okay, three, four, five, six is just the full thing. So we can just do that. And hold on to another high value spade. Okay, unfortunately we didn't quite find what I'm looking for. And I don't want to like play more cards to lose a dollar each to dig further. So let's take our 3, 4, 5, 6, 10. Wait, uh, I hope this is enough actually. Because I did sell off that extra multiplier card. So, it is possible this isn't enough, but okay, we do get a ton of times 1.5 molts, so yeah, we're fine. But it's getting close, because we've got so much economy, right? We have eight antis here. So, okay. I think it might be time to pivot into, like, you know, I'm no longer worried about... Oh, uh, Joker, Tarot, Planet, and Spectral cards may appear multiple times. That's, uh, don't exactly know what that means, but this is really good. Um, just giving us extra mult for a planet card. I could also see getting rid of the Troubadour. I mean, it is nice to have. Okay, well, <laughs> honestly, let's just buy out this shop. But, yeah, the Troubadour is nice. However, uh, we're not really having trouble making straight flushes, so I don't think it's really even needed. A level 4 straight flush. And I think that's a really good way to get multiplier and chips. And then we just like use our baseball card in order to get more 
uh, more value that way. And the mail-in rebate is, I think, like, it's obviously good because the polychrome, but this essentially makes all of our uncommons already polychrome, so this is, like, way better. Okay. We're going to take the Jumbo Spectral Pack to see what we get here. Ectoplasm. Oh, that seems really good. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and add a negative to a Joker. So, okay, that's funny. So now this Troubadour is essentially plus one hand size, minus one hands per round, and that's it. Uh, because, and it doesn't take up a Joker slot. Plus four Molt for each card below 52 in your full deck. So if I have a thin deck, this gets really strong. That seems like a fun sort of build to go for. But not this time. All right, let's keep our 25. Upgrade pair by three levels. I mean, if you were a straight flush, right? I'd love you. But you're not. Okay. So, we got four, five, six. I guess not really anything, huh? So, we're looking for like a three. Didn't quite find it. Um, yeah, if we, if we find the three, we're good to go, right? Okay, we have a 10 Jack Queen. How many Kings do we have left? We have four Kings left. So we're pretty much guaranteed to find the uh, the straight flush, the Royal flush here. So let's just play it out. And this also gives us plus four Molt, which is really good because that's four to our base Molt, which is then going to be Multiply by 1.5 several times. Ooh. Does the constellation not work until we've like we get planet cards while we have this? I guess I don't really know for sure. Okay. We could use this to basically turn our money into um, into output. Okay. Wish we had a wild card here. But I think I'm going to take this 10. Because that 10 will pair with our 9s pretty well to make flushes. Because we have a lot of 9s, right? Let's also take another standard pack. Ooh. Increase the tarot card when discarded, and it's a molt card. Yeah, I'll take it. Let's see for six, seven, eight, nines, anyways. Okay. I do think I'm just going to take this, and this will let us turn our money into like a guaranteed victory, just about, for our final antes. Which I think I'm going to go into that in our. Um, in our 7th and 8th antis is my current plan. So, okay. 6, 7, 8, 5. And a 10. That isn't quite a straight flush. So. Okay. We should discard these, I think. Because we're looking for another spade to put in this. I feel like I discarded the wrong cards there. Anyway, we do have a 10 in a club. Uh, let's go ahead and discard these. Okay, I gotta focus now. 
We get a 9. Yeah, we get a single 9, and then... That will... Give us the straight flush for the spades. Let's discard these, and this will give us a tarot card. Ooh. Let's use it. Come on. Darn it. Anyways, um, I know I have... Okay, I know if I have anything in here, I have nines. Give me a nine. There we go. <laughs> Alright. We can swap this out. Get 30 extra bonus chips. We'll still get a straight flush. A level 4 straight flush at that. Alright. And then every single... Uh, every single uncommon give us another 1.5 times molt. So just making a absurd amount of cash there. Okay. So sadly we did not find a uh a celestial pack. We could take a buffoon pack, but it kind of feels like a waste. Uh, I'll, I'll take it, I guess. I mean, I'm not going to guarantee I actually buy it. J Joker. Plus two molt per reroll in the shop. Retrigger all cards played for the next ten hands. Okay, that seems really strong. Uh, I'm assuming that, like, you know, this is a sort of a one-and-done kind of deal. Right, like, once this happens, uh, we can't really rely on it still working. So, we can, we can take it. Uh, after we play 10 card, 10 hands, and this is going to dissolve, is my ass assumption. But right now, we're trying to win in just, like, uh, in just activating our hand, or winning, like, right away, I suppose. In one hand. So, we must play five cards. Oh, no! Okay, 7, 8, 10. Let's see. We can get a 6, 7, 8 going on, but I don't think that's really what we're going for here anyways. We need a 9. That really shouldn't be a trouble for us. Once we find a 9, we have 6, 8, 9, 10. And then we just need one more diamond. A six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, a seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. So we don't need the six technically, but maybe we go for like it's clubs. I guess we keep both of the, the um, seven, eight, nine, ten. We actually have a lot of speculative pieces here, but. We can discard like this, and I think that keeps our speculation on most of them. 8, 9, 10. 7, we just need one more spade and we're good to go. So, we have a 7, 8, 9, 10. So we need to keep the 7. Yep, 8, 9, 10. Jack. And we need another spade. And that is a straight flush. And yeah, that triggers the molt card again. And tons and tons from our baseball card and our campfire. We're really looking to use more planet cards for our constellation. As well. Okay. Rerolls cost two less. That seems really good for what you know we're doing. I uh, might want to just be holding on to our cash at this point. Because we're saving up for anti seven and eight. Let's look at our next blinds. I guess we don't know them yet. So plus ten molt if our hand contains a flush. I would take you if you were uncommon. Let's reroll once. Oh yeah, money's on sale. 
Sure. Yep. And yeah, this is going down to nine, so we only have nine more hands left of that. The next shop has a polychrome joker. Um, I guess I'll take that. Uh, the polychrome joker could be huge for us. It could also just be garbage, but we will see. All right. We have a, a 910 king. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That's supposed to be. If we get a jack, then we can get the 910 king, queen, jack. 910 jack, queen, king. Guess we don't actually need the 9 then, huh? Okay. <clears throat> I suppose either way, uh, I don't see ourselves needing the sixes or a redundant three or a redundant ten. Let's discard like this. All right, we get a two, three, four, five. So we could get a straight here, but sadly it is not a straight flush. We need another heart for that. But we do get the okay. We do get a straight flush here, pretty easily actually. So, yeah. Our seltzer is activating. We're going to get a ton of extra bonus chips. Which is not really too relevant because we have so many base chips already. So, more molt by base would be nice. Alright, 30,000. So, okay. We're not quite one-shotting the boss here. But, it really shouldn't be too bad if we need to, like, get two rounds in. And gets the boss, right? Ooh, allow straights to be made with gaps of one rank? Uh, that seems really good. Let's go ahead and take our Celestial Pack and let's see what this Constellation does. Yep, we take the Straight Flush, of course. Yeah. Like, this is almost hilariously redundant. Honestly. <laughs> So, hmm. I mean, we probably don't actually need the seltzer. So let's just take that. Let's take an Arcana pack. We do want an Arcana pack to just be able to bail us out of a bad situation. Yeah, more hearts. It's perfect. So we'll take, let's say, these three cards into hearts. Kind of spread them out. Oh, I guess we have a lot of five of hearts already. Yeah, we didn't need that. <laughs> okay, my bad. Alright, so we roll here. Ooh, Neptune. Very nice. We're also buffing up our... Constellation here. Made money. Jeez. Okay. I think I'm good on rerolling now. I okay. Oh no, I can only play one hand type this round. Wonder what's gonna be. Let's see, if we get a ten. That's three in a row. I do wanna keep my glass card until like the end. We already have a two, three, four, five, but they're like mostly different. So, I don't actually want to play that. Alright. 9, 10, Jack, Queen. Oh, right. We also have uh, gaps in our straights. So, that's a lot to keep track of, huh? Alright. Can we get, like, a... Yeah, that, that, I guess we can do this. That's a straight flush. Let's just play it. No reason to overthink things, I mean. Yeah, we just need to keep getting straight flushes, honestly. Okay, 126,000. Pretty good. Pretty good. And okay. Hearts get us more molt. I would like that, but unfortunately, it's not an uncommon card. There's got to be a good uncommon card to show up, honestly. Um. 
Uh, no thanks for the zero dollars at foil. Ooh, minus two hand size. Is it because I already have an ectoplasm? Because I could have sworn that was only minus one at the start. I don't think I need that many more jokers. So let's go ahead and add a foil or holographic or something to a card. Probably one of the le less common cards because I feel like those are going to be more co likely to play as an individual. So let's see. We only have... Oh, all of our five, all of our fives are hearts. That's funny. Um, yeah, okay. You get to be foil, so you get a bit more chips. All right, let's roll. All face cards become gold when played. I don't really see the point of that, because you have to hold it, you have to play it, and then you have to hold it in your hand. And you can't really get them back. Per discarded heart. Okay. It looks like the way that these cards work is that you need to get them early and then they scale up, right? So if I got this right away, this would be a like a times two molt. Just about because I've had eight added seven cards to my deck. But Right now, it's currently a times one molt because it doesn't retroactively count. For each king held in hand gives times 1.5 molts. I only have four kings in my deck, and I don't have... Like, I have a decent hand size. Thanks to the troubadour. Okay. We do want to sell off a card, honestly. Which might be the constellation. Each playing card with club suit gives times 1.5 molt when scored. Suit changes at the end of round. I mean, if I can change that to heart, that'd be insane. But maybe it's actually just good as is. Maybe I just take it? Uh, let's just buy and use this first. Nope. Darn it. Okay. Um... I mean, the baseball card's still good with just three uncommon, so let's just sell that and grab this. And if we can manage to like, make this a heart on the final round, that'd be really fun. And sure, we can take an Arcana pack. Maybe money's going to be on sale. Ooh. A wild card on this, uh, on this molt. Wait, I, can't, I don't think we can stack that. So let's make this into a wild... Because we want stuff like around the 8s to be flexible. Around the 9s. And let's go to the next round. Uncommon Joker. I feel like... Uh, I couldn't need help with that. We can go for clubs here. We have no clubs in our hand. Very funny. Well, we don't need this many hearts, that's for sure. Discard those. Um, you could probably also discard this king. I think we only discarded four cards. Yet. That's my bad. One, two, four. Huh. Yeah, I also have to expand my brain and remember the shortcut and four fingers, which, how do those things interact? Uh, I guess it's not that complicated, right? I can do like one, two, five, seven, right? Oh, yeah, one, two, three, five. Two, three, four, six would work. But I have a... Wait, do I have a straight here? No, that's a diamond. Okay, anyway. I gotta stop losing my mind here. Uh, let's go ahead and discard these. Let's keep the seven of clubs, because it would be nice to make the ancient joker work. We don't have a lot of clubs in our deck, huh? Six, seven, eight. A uh, six, seven, eight, ten. <laughs> okay.
Uh, let's discard these because we have like a heart flush going on and I know I have a ton of hearts in here. And yeah, let's just get a straight flush. Let's just get out of here. This is probably going to do it for us. And hey, that counts as part of it because that counts as part of the flush. Or part of the straight. Okay. Uh, 97,000. Sure. Right? I don't even know why I'm trying this hard. Alright. We get... Yep, 35 grand. Gives times two per enhanced card plays remove card enhancements. Okay. I think that our setup here is a bit is really strong, so I don't really need it. But that does seem fun. Okay. I do think uh, getting a lover's card sounds really good. I should be buying and selling stuff. That's my bad. What a fool I am. Anyway, uh, if I am buying and selling stuff, what am I selling to make room? <laughs> uh, decreases the level of the played poker hand. I guess it doesn't really matter. Anyway, right now we want clubs. So we do have some clubs in our hand. Just the seven and the queen. So we have nine, ten, jack, queen, ace. Okay, wait, let's <laughs> let's not stress out too much about this. Let's discard our redundant cards. And I don't think we're going for like an ace. Actually, no, we, we could go for an ace. Thinking about in the wrong direction. Anyway. We can go for... Discarding those. Probably should discard that five. Uh, five, six, seven, nine, ten. That's a straight flush. Sure. There's also two clubs, while still being a spade flush. <laughs> so, hey, I guess guess that works. One hundred forty-three thousand. Okay, good enough. Now, what do I sell? Uh, sell? I'm probably th I'm thinking of selling off the shortcut. And yeah, we do want another Celestial Pack. Just give us more of those Neptunes. Thank you. Uh, level 7 Neptune. Very nice. Let's reroll here. Don't need Uranus. Ooh. That seems fun, but I don't think we're really triggering any lucky cards this game. Uh, between all of these, I suppose I sell off my shortcut. As much as I like it, as much as like powerful as it is, we are not having trouble making straight flushes the regular way. And we do need to sell something to make space. And yeah, we can just take Chaos the Clown for a free reroll per shop. Get a free reroll. And yeah. Decreases level of played poker hand. Alright. We unfortunately don't have the skip anymore, but that's fine. We never needed it. We need diamonds. Okay. Uh, that should be fine. So. Yeah, these are two diamonds in a row here, so I do think that's what we're going for. Alright, we have four, five, six, seven. That's a straight. 
and put another diamond, it's a straight flush. Ooh, we can use the Fool to create Neptune. That sounds good. Alright, uh, 225,000. Great. Alright. $13 and... Nice. Let's go ahead and get a another Neptune. Oh, that permanently reduces the level of my played hand. That's that's spicy. Unfortunately, it doesn't really matter too much for you, but hey, you know, it's a nice try to hold me back. Let's right, take our free reroll. Yep, we're gonna sell this. And we're going to start churning through as much as we can. We finally got something. We got a holographic baseball card. I think that'll be pretty good. Uh, that means we probably want the baseball card sooner, so we get the um, plus 10 molt there. Earn $5 of poker hands a straight flush? You know, you're speaking my language, huh? Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's get that $5 then. Uh, one random joker disabled every hand? Oh no. If that disables my four fingers, I'm gonna be in trouble. But I can just burn through the hand, so it's not that big of a deal. And I suppose if it disables, like, uh, something else, it's not that bad either. So, we can't reroll it, because if we reroll it, then we won't get a shop. Actually, no, we can get a shop here. And then buy and sell a ton to bump up our campfire. Okay. And here we need spades if we want to get the big molt, which I do. Yep. Let's get a diversity of cards going. We have, um... Still trouble getting spades up. But for spades, we do have a like a little bit of everything. Um, yeah, but our spades are not connecting well, so maybe we have to bail off of the spades. Um, we could probably discard that diamond. And is this three gonna be useful? It could be. So let's discard like this, cause yeah, I mean. That's two spades. Pretty good. I'm not going to complain about that. I think I should have played the six instead. Oh, that's not a flush. Oh, no. My hand is useless. It's only going to score 12,000. All right. Oh, well. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Yeah, we're, we're, we're fine. <laughs> and that is... 224,000. <laughs> okay, sure. Ooh, create a random spectral card. I mean, that doesn't sound like... It sounds like it'd be good, like, forever ago, you know? Uh, I wish I could take this. I mean, I technically can, but it's just not gonna do anything for me, right? It's gonna create, like, a random special card once, because it's so late in the game. Uh, yeah, we can take this just to sell it. Yep. 
Let's create two random cards here. Let's see. Is this a club? Is a spade? All right. Let's sell that for a dollar because we don't really need to destroy cards anymore. At least not at this point. I guess we could have destroyed cards with the Arcana pack, but oh well. But we are going to reroll. We're looking for something else. Each held king in hand gives us more money. I guess we're kind of running out of cash. I should have kept that in mind. I do think I need to take this just so we have another hit for the boss. Um, and let's go the next round. Oh. And let's... Do you want to skip this? I kind of want to see what the other bosses could be, so let's skip it. Very large blind. Perfect. <laughs> Alright. We do have a king we can hold in hand, which is excellent. So the Baron gets to activate. And we want spades. So let's keep that spade in hand. Uh, and get a random tarot card. Nice. 10 jack. Queen king. It's a straight. We want more spades though. Come on, another spade. And then we can get another spade in like so. Okay. So this should do it. I think I should have changed that to a wild card. Just because that would be another 0.5 times multiplier. Ooh. Uh, 1.7 million. Great. <laughs> awesome. Too bad all these ships are virtual, indeed. Well, that was fun. Uh, yeah, I didn't, haven't gotten to play Balatro for a little bit, but yeah, 1.7 million. Very large blind. Yeah, nice try. Okay, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. And we'll see how well Balatro does. If Balatro does well, I'll keep playing it, and if it doesn't, uh, I'll just play it my own time. So, take care, everyone.